everybody. Welcome back to our continuing live coverage of the Origins Summer Preview. You're watching the Dice Tower. I'm Sam Healy. This is Steven and Cynthia from Stronghold Games, and they are here to show us a slew of stuff. So without any further ado, that rhymed. Not bad. I'm going to knock it Not over bad. to you guys. I'm going to so, show you Pit Crew, another Jeff Engelstein. Another game. Jeff Engelstein joint. There so, you go. So Jeff Engelstein, this is one of his solo designs, his uh -huh. second solo design, Pit Crew. And the great story about this is that Suze of your network as well, Suzanne Sheldon, yeah, yeah, yeah. said, hey, I, why is there no games about the Pit Crews of racing? It's always about the racers and winning the race, but right. the Pit Crew are the unsung heroes. Jeff saw that tweet or that video that she said, and yeah. he's like, I'm on this. <laughs> and like four months later, I saw a prototype of this game, and I'm like, this is perfect. So it's going to be a real-time speed game that came directly out of like desires of, of people out there. Okay. So Cynthia, take us through some of the ways that Pit Crew works. Well, Pit Crew is two to nine two players. Two to nine players. Two to nine, wow. Two okay. to nine, it is a real-time speed game. So everybody's going to have their hand of cards, and uh -huh. you are trying to put the correct cards on the correct aspects of your car. Uh -huh. And as soon as you have the the each requirement made at each, excuse me, on each location, then you get to start racing. You can be sent out on the track, and you can start racing your car. Okay. You're basically changing your tires. You're going to be refilling, refueling the car, and then later on, uh, in, as the cars get more advanced, you're going to be doing tune-ups to the engines right. as well. Right, and it's three Sir, rounds, I believe and Cynthia each one it gets it gets a little bit tougher with more things that you need to do on the car. Okay. So only the first two cars set out onto the track get to race their car. The only sooner, the first two. The 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 lap ends after the after the third uh, okay, first okay. two. So All right. when you send it out, you can start rolling the dice to start moving your car. Okay. okay. Every time you roll a six, you'll be able to move your car one space. So by the time the third car finishes tuning itself up, it might look like this. That lap ends, <laughs> and now those guys are going to be in the lead for the next the next three laps, gotcha. and then so, one, and then each. And then eat, so many? you are fast and furiously trying to put the cards out there. Yeah. One of the beautiful things about this game is, you know how when you have a game that's like two to, to nine players, getting an even number for teams yeah. can be tough. Right. Doesn't matter if you don't, the teams aren't even. Okay. Because the way the cards are distributed in the hand, you can have a two-player team and a three-player team. The three-player team will have more hands putting down, but each player will have less cards. Uh. The two-player team, they'll have more cards less hands putting down right, right. so it really is fun fast quick that's cool. and a, you know just a good time but the key is the pit crew getting it on the track there you if go. the pit crew can't get it on the track in a quick time your car is not going so you're very basically far. just matching numbers to you numbers have to do here, numbers right? in a yes sequence so six then next to a six you put a five or a seven so, next to the seven you put a six or an eight and you have to have three on each location I think okay. so, yeah. yeah. Three on each and location, then, and then you cap it with a cap card. Yeah. Say, That's done. We've already put we've already put that one out. You All right. can send a defective car out on the track and take penalty uh, later. Okay. So once you do it, you cap it. Cap it and good right, you go. Done. But so if you if you can run the risk of taking a penalty later by sending a slightly defective car out Sounds by like capping fun to it me. early. You but lose. you lose a little bit at the end. So it's what's the bonus points for that. So there is glory in death. <laughs> there is, so, but, it, but it really is a great way to fill in a lot of people. All right, cool. And 15 minutes, two to nine players. It actually comes out on July 12th? July, I, believe, I think that's the street July, date. No, it's the end of July, I believe. July 26th is the street date. But yes, you can find crew. that information on, on the, the website. <laughs> Games.com website. I'll tell you exactly when it's available retail, but of course we have it here. For sale for the first right. time. That's cool. In fact, these literally got to the warehouse. Literally got to the warehouse on Monday, and they were shipped over here, over to uh, Columbus yesterday. So that's your pocket line. This is the fifth one in the pocket line. With, pocket line. That's with, an awfully big box for a pocket. It's with a very big uh, pockets like. Oh, uh, it's for cargo like Eric, shorts. Eric Summer has got these cargo very big pockets here, so he can pockets. put them in there. Ah. Well, we, we want them to make nice big boxes because you can put lots of stuff in That's those boxes. That's fine. I got yeah. you. And I we got needed you. something bigger than the time. micro line, which we'll talk the about micro later. Line is okay. up soon. Micro line's coming up later. Well, All right. That's good. All right. All right. So that's pit crew. Pit crew. Never what before seen. Next. Next. We're gonna have. Something also never before seen in the U.S. 
Cottage this Garden. Cottage Garden. Oh, An up. Uwe Rosenberg game. Hey, hey, hey. And I think that's sort of okay. That's pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. All right, so Cottage Garden, this is a, you said it's first time in the USA. What does that mean? Um, the game was published by a very small publisher. I'm going to bring stuff a little bit closer. And? Okay. In, uh, in Germany. In Germany, okay. Uh, sh uh, sh Spielweiss, is that was uh, uh, Spielweiss Berliner or something like that? Spielweiss. Spielweiss. I believe no. that is, it's like white game or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> so it was published by them. Um, very big, it was the number two ranked game uh, on the BGG hotness at Essen. Okay. Um, we picked up the license for, uh, for publication good. after that. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So um, that's why it's the first time in the US. There were some imported copies, but that was it. So okay. um, if anybody knows about, if you don't mind me uh, talking about the, uh, the, where this game came from, uh, Uwe Rosenberg did a game called Patchwork, which was pretty, pretty popular. Yeah. But that was a two-player only game. Right. Two players basically filling up their board um, of a quilt, making a quilt. Right. Very cute. He riffed on the system a little bit, and now this game is one to four players. And in this case, you're doing this, making these beautiful gardens uh, that you're going to be doing in People see this in front of me? Well, not exactly, but you're gonna be filling up with these Tetris tiles, filling up the gardens in front of you. Once you fill one up, you put it out and you get another one to continue okay. trying to fill up. That's the basic cool. premise. Cynthia, take us through some of the mechanics. Uh, uh, okay, now are you yes. really gonna be quiet now? I'm gonna to try to be quiet. Okay. You know me, it's just, not all right. easy. Cynthia, wow. please take it away. It's a rough room. <laughs> so <laughs> you're gonna have pieces coming down. Wherever the dice is, uh -huh. you can choose a piece from that row. Okay. If there is one piece left, you fill up the row and you fill it up starting from the wheelbarrow going from the dice down. Okay. Easy right. enough. Yeah. yeah. Right? It, but if you really need this piece, you can pay a cat <laughs> to put that piece on the board. What happens to the cat when you he pay him? He just goes and he goes and looks for mice in somebody else's garden. Okay, so you're not... So, yeah, no, yes. you're not okay. killing it. You're All just, right. you're just putting it over. Horrible okay, that's wheelbarrow full of cats and, uh, and pots. pots. Because if you don't want one of the pieces that's there, pots. you can take a pot to it's put on the board. The other All right. singular, it's okay. Now, the, the only thing that scores when you fill this up with pieces are the pots and the cloches. Okay. So this one, say this was fill of garden, we would have one, two, three, four, five. We would do a five with the one yeah. and only two here. Okay. Now these are worth two each, these are worth one each. Okay. When you cross this little line, you get a cat back. But you can never have more than one cat. Well, you know, cats come back, you put out the little food because you gotcha. got a little mouse there. Right, right, right. There's a little Wait, jump you feed your here cats mice? Yeah, okay. see, there's a little mice right, right there. What do you right. feed yours? You know, it's a garden cat. I don't cat. have a cat. I don't it's have a garden cat. cat. Okay, all right, that's you good. You need a cat. When you cross no, over don't. this line, <laughs> there's a jump in points, and the first one to do it gets the, the beehive okay. with two. Second one gets one. All Those right. are worth a point. Yeah. And they're tiebreakers. Okay. The wheelbarrow keeps going around the board as you fill it in, so it marks where it is. Yeah. And you just kind of keep going. Every time it crosses, you spin the dice to the next round. Okay. Big thing is, so when you finish one, you, f you flip it over there, get a new board, and you keep going. Okay. Fifth round, same as normal. When you enter the sixth round, if your board doesn't have at least three pieces on it, you lose it, it goes away. Oh. The other thing that happens in the sixth round is every turn you take, you lose two points. Wow. So you might want to play where you have no boards left for the sixth round. Yeah, that might be so true. So it's kind of, but you got, but you got to count the rounds. You got to count your board. It might be worth the points to finish up the thing. It's got a lot of cute so little things going on. So there's a li lot of little things going on. So you want to and place these things these on cats? here so that it's not covering up these other yes, things. Yes, you right. can cover them up, but that is going to hurt you later That's on. Hurt you want to yeah, try yeah, yeah, to yeah. keep these things because they're good for you. Right. They score you the points. Cool. But maybe you cover one up to hit the point value exactly right, gotcha. so that you don't lose, you know, that, yeah. and gain a beehive. So okay. there might there'd be reasons why you'd want to cover it up and reasons why you wouldn't. Okay. It truly is one of my favorite games right that now. That sounds so. awesome. That really sounds good. Really great gateway game. You can play this with like anybody, and they'll they'll be yeah. a great introduction to to strategy and, games. Nice and you and can light. fill up some space with a little pot. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stephen was right. He's putting pot in the garden. He's putting pot I in the garden. I said pots. I was very specific <laughs> in this family network that I said pots Man. are here. 
Okay. Hey, okay. Hey. He's not responsible for what, for what anybody Tom, plants in their garden. That Tom is true. tolerates me just enough. I'm not going to push that envelope too much. But if you guys want to push it, power to you. You are not responsible right. for anybody else's gardening habits. That's right. So oh, moving I almost along. Made it. So we just we just told you we have, pardon me, we have cats right in cottage garden. Guess what? We are going to have now this cute little game called Get the Cheese, and I call this a game of cat versus mouse versus yes. dog because all those kind of cute cute little animals are going to show up. Dogs eat cheese too? They don't, but they scare the heck out of cats. <laughs> so this is, we'll put this a little bit closer here. This is a his, Hisashi Hayashi game. Yes. Who uh, did trains a few years ago and right. now has Yokohama very hot. So this is one of his really light games versus the, the bigger games that he has done in the past. Um, and it is a game that can be played with kids, if you'd like, down to age six, they won't get some of the subtleties. But really, it's another light strategy game, very easy to explain to people, um, and very approachable, with really very cute, approachable artwork as well. So uh, I think I Cynthia, remember playing this game, actually. Did you play it in the original Go Dutchies? Yes. Oh, so maybe that was it, right. So it was originally published um, in Japan, um, and we picked it up at Essen, obviously, yep. when we meet with um, with the designers there. It was called Gouda Cheese, yes. which is sort of a play on words for Gouda, Gouda I think. Yes. Um, but it didn't sound right, I don't think, to an American ear maybe, so we went with Get the Cheese, which is exactly what you're trying to do. Yeah. You're sending your mice to eat as much cheese while taking your cats to go and eat other people's mice and sending your dogs to scare away the cats that are gonna go eat your mice. So it's a game of one-upsmanship. Cool. So I'm keep, gonna keep talking until Cynthia's ready to show what's going on here. Don't blame Cynthia. Uh, you I, I just think there's a lot of cards going on. It's a three to five player game. Yes. And again, a very short game plays in about 15 minutes. Whatever's on the box. Sounds good. So yes. I kind of have a mess of cards here, but you have a hand of, you start with a hand of six, your hand okay. limit is six. Right. On your turn, you can either draw three cards or play three cards. Yeah. If you play three cards, they have to start in one spot and then Go it's around. the next two yep. clockwise. Yes. You play the first one face down, the next two face up, as long as they don't have this symbol. If they have that symbol, which is the back of the card yeah. in black and white, right. it means you can place it face down. Okay. And placing okay. it face down, as you'll see in a second, is better because you're trying to bluff everybody to you figure are. out you know, if I put this here, what did they put here? Correct. It's a right. whole one-upsmanship and out So, guessing. like, this row would, would originally look like this. Yes. Once all the cards are placed in everybody's hands, you flip them over and you start the row. And starting on the bottom, the dogs first chase the cats. Okay. If there's a cat, it chases it away out right. of the line. And then the owner of the yellow dog would then score Get three the cat. points, put it yes. into the score pile. Right. Correct. But I do need that cat a second. You need that cat. So if that cat wasn't, Back if this off, dog Steve. hadn't chased that cat away, All right. the cat would then eat three mice. Okay? That's a hungry cat. Okay. But now if it's its own color there, it won't eat it. Okay. So it would eat one, two, three, and it stays one. in the line. Gotcha. Okay? Yeah. And then if there's any king mice. Special mice. He runs to the front. He's the king. <laughs> and they eat first. Okay. So these, this is how many mice it serves. Gotcha. Not what the numbers, because there's some extra large mice. <laughs> big, big chunky mice. That's a Sam Healy and, mice. And, <laughs> oh. Oh. I, know you, I know you just, you, you're, you got a very right, large then. ego. He's, All the, right, he's then. the big mouse. He's I the have big a, mouse at the table. I have a very large ego too, apparently. <laughs> but, but so, Somebody needs the to give Stephen a the shovel, card apparently. Does not mean how many pieces of cheese it will eat, just how many points you score if it eats. Right, got gotcha. you. Okay. So then these three would go to the owner of the cat. Okay. If the cat wasn't there, these three would eat, and you just get these points to score. Okay. And any other mice would not eat, they would just they get would, to score. Yeah, gotcha. they would just be starving mice. Very good. So it is really that cute, that yeah. fast. There's 15 cards, so it really is just a matter yeah, of plays really draw quick. three, play three, and first game through, people are still figuring out how to put it down. Second, yeah. but by the by about the second place down, everybody has it. It's also just, short enough to where you'll probably play it twice right off the bat anyway. Absolutely. absolutely. Just say, oh, now I got it. Yeah, yeah. let's go again. Just but, a, go ahead. 
But there is that social, what do you think somebody's played? Okay, I see mice. Is that a cat that went up face right, down? Yeah. Is that, did yeah. they try and sneak in another mouse? What are they trying to do? Yeah, I got you. And because it doesn't eat your own colors, right? that color stays in line. So there's a lot you can do with it that way. Yeah. And just to drive gamers crazy, um, this is the second in the micro line now. See how small this is? This could even fit in smaller pockets. That, definitely a couple of them in it, Eric's it pocket. It fits in my back pocket. Yeah, right there. Yeah. So um, second one. And in this game, um, the first one being Fuji Flush, which was a very big game yeah. for us, a very big little game for us yeah, at yeah, the end yeah. of last year, uh, still selling very well for us. We're putting in each one of these games, since it's only cards, we're going to put one card for the previous game. So it, it's a promotion that people buy this and say, oh, what's that? I can go look that up. Or people who bought Fuji Flush, they're like, oh, I got to go get that kind of thing. So we have a Fuji Flush promo card here in here. And then the next Tom game. hates it when publishers good, do that. Good. I'm, I'm happy that he so hates it because that makes me exactly happy. what we did. That you makes know. me more happy. So that was a bonus for me doing it to drive him crazy. I'm very happy about that. So if you want the promo card, it's in there. All right, cool. So that is Get the Cheese. Get the Cheese. All right, man. next we have Frog Riders. How much time do we have? Just five minutes. Five minutes more here and then we go? Yeah, and then you can go there for a few minutes. Perfect timing. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Five minutes on this. Keep us honest. <laughs> give us the give us the, 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 the hook. The hook. Ah. So look at this beautiful board. Where's yeah. the back? That's cool. The back. The back is illustrated. Can, it's can gorgeous. That? Cool. that is cool. In fact, the, the um, back is gorgeous. Yeah. That was the favorite, and a little, little story, that was the favorite of the art pieces of the artist. But we thought that what was on the box, if you bring the box over, was a little more of what we were going for, that really light, the light, family-friendly kind of right. game. So, All right, cool. here we go. Frog Riders. Uh, about right there. That's good enough. That's good enough. Go ahead and talk about it while oh, okay. I dump some frogs out. So Frog Riders um, is our family tactical game. So really to talk about this game, we really just Check have to put stuff sculpts. out. No, yeah, they're awesome. I, I these saw are this really adorable. At, uh, they're in four colors. You don't, the gathering. You don't own these, um, these Frog Riders. They're the ones that you're going to be collecting. You're going to notice a couple of familiar mechanics. You're going to notice, hey, number one, like the checkers mechanic. You jump over and you collect something. You're going to notice, obviously, set, set collection. You're going to be grabbing these frog riders and doing things with them. We'll show you about that in a second. We don't put anything in the center one. Ah! They randomly go on the board in all the different places. And there we go. Um, we're going to put, put out some more of some objectives. Mm -hmm. All right. You left, left one frog right away. I know. I know. All right. No problem. All right. So and basically, in this case, I'm going to leave it to you because you know all the little rules, but there's not many little rules in this game anyway. Two minutes only. Okay. We're Two quick. minutes. All right. So it's you dump a frog. The frog you jump, you get. Yes. Okay. And you put it in front of you. Yes. You are trying to set collect. Yes. So if you get this set of four, you get five points for every one of That's them. That's correct. But now this is a dual set, so you would actually get nine points because three of these frogs can be used for this card. Gotcha. You count. You can use the same frogs. Right. Okay. Everybody's going after these. But Everybody, but you also have a private secret Objective. set collection that right. you're trying to do. But now, depending on what frogs you have, I can turn a red frog into the village and get another jump. Which is shown here. Right. You can turn a yellow one in. And get another jump. Yep. Uh, you can only turn no. one frog in. A red one, you get another jump. You yeah. get another action. Yeah. I'll get to the yellow one in a second okay. one. Okay. The blue frog, Acting you can like only Steven turn. Now. <laughs> you can only turn one frog in per turn. Gotcha. The blue frog on my next turn, I could turn in to get one of these special cards that improves my ability to jump. Which is shown right here. Right. The yellow one, I can turn in because I've got too many yellow ones, I can turn in to get a red one. You can, you can start trading out and you can take back to the end. Any one of any color, Any right? one of any yeah. color. The only one that's not going to go to the village is the brown one. He's just worth one point at the end. Cool. And parts of sets and things yeah. like that. And so parts it really, it sounds very simple, but I've played no, with no, no, big no. gamers yeah, 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 yeah. And, and it's been amazing how like these, how it's like, oh yeah, yeah. And then it's like, which one do I want to get? Yeah. So some of the cards you need to land on a lily pad. Some of them change how you can jump. Uh -huh. Some of them just give you the most points for having, you get bonus points for having the least amount of cards. So there, there's bonus points for a lot of them. And the variety in the game comes in with there's a lot of different 
um, cards for the set collection. There's a lot of these different cards, so you're not going to have the same game twice because this game I could diagonal jump. The next game I can slide one and jump. Yeah, so, all kinds of different things. And these powers really give it between the uh, the different um, sets that you're going to be collecting, the objectives, and these powers that you're going to be right. grabbing, going to give you a lot, a lot, a lot of replayability out of a very yeah. simple checkers-like game with this extra levels of strategy involved. Yep. And these are just adorable. Yeah, they are. The 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 <laughs> models are are really cool. Uh, the, I love the frogs. They're, they're just absolutely they're frogs adorable. With little, this is the this is the uh, uh, the first frog, uh, elves riding frog game I believe ever made. Those are elves. The elves, elves are, is a my little little elven tribe like sprites. They call them elves. Okay. Like a little elven tribe in mock combat on frogs. All right. Okay. They that's used strange. to be in I battle. Agree. But you know, okay. I they used the to theme. be at war, but right. they have settled the war, and so now every year they have these mock trials of seeing who can do... <laughs> Who's the best frog rider? Of, exactly. So, All right, but cool. they keep the peace and they don't go back to war. That so they cool. just have these mock battles. All right, so we'll that see is you on the other frog camera. riders. So when is this available? It's this, available right now. This is this, right? The street date for this is today, actually. Today, today worldwide cool. street date uh, for this and is, of course, also available here at Origins. Very good. And if Thank somebody you. wants to not able to be here at Origins, how can they pick it up? They can go to any of their friendly local game stores or online game stores or, of course, at strongholdgames.com. That had like a little ring to it. A little, little ring, you know? That's a little, cool. little. And, and if they are here, they can stop by the booth and see the other two games that we have going, plus That's anything right. else we have going. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll just show them. I mean, we have Fields of Green and Not, Not alone. alone. Two to seven player so. asymmetrical one versus many games. Oh, and there's a lot of tension in this game. There's a lot of tension in this <laughs> game. Even drafting. in a two player. There's a lot of tension just looking at the cover. Yeah. It's just unsettling. The evil game. I know, right? The card drafting, tableau building, yeah. resource management. Very cool. All right, Hi. so that <laughs> is everything. it. We're going to send uh, one of these two. Which one? Steven? I'll go, I'll go oh, okay. on to Mike. Of course, whatever. Steven wants to go talk more. To um, Mandy, of course. Uh, to Mandy oh, Hutchinson Mandy. over at the Q&A. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Oh, this is me. Yeah, you got the fancy mic. I get the f a fancy mic? Really? <laughs> so, hey, we're we're going to be on camera? Yeah, we are on camera are right, we now? right now. Yes. So while you were there talking away, we have questions. And yes, I wrote them all down, well, the ones I saw. So you know, okay. we're going to get right to it. So guess yes. what? Oh. Terraforming Mars is on <laughs> every. No, really? On you people really want to know about mind. Terraforming Mars. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so yes. let's start. I wrote them all down, yes. so I knew they were important. Oh, really? I know, they're all there. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is Terraforming Mars expansion at Dice Tower Con. Will that be available for purchase? I would say 99.5% yes. It's not even printed yet, but oh. it's being printed 100% at LudoFact okay. USA. So yes, it will be there. If it's not there, someone's head's gonna roll at LudoFact. So yes, uh, yes. we People will have will the expansion there. We have Terraforming Mars here for sale for the first time back in print okay. in, in many, many months. Which is actually one of the questions that people were asking about. Yes. And they're worried about the uh, constant, the reprints. Is that a factor? Is that affecting you? Is, is how, how much I can get the stuff back? Correct. Let me tell you. This print run that's that's coming out that right. has literally got assembled on Monday and they got just enough games to come here. This print run is so big, Asmodee would would weep. <laughs> that's how big it is. Wow. Very expensive for Bonacore to be doing this. or Strong will be doing this, but, but uh, worth it. Where, but yes, it's uh, it's doing very well. <laughs> and so I mean, I would not I would not uh, delay. I would get out there if you want a copy, you don't have one. Get out there and go get one because it will sell. It's going to sell out of my warehouse. Okay. Then how fast it sells through distribution is another story. But okay. it is. Literally, epically, a big, big print run. Okay, perfect. Not lying. And deluxe terraforming Mars. There is, right now, <laughs> as of right now, there's no. It's not on on the schedule. Um, maybe in a few years, that's possible. But we have. I announced recently that we're actually, we had four expansions planned. The Fricks Brothers have now come up with two more. So we okay. have like six expansions planned for this. Oh my two goodness. this year alone, right? Wow. The Hellas and Elysium is the first expansion, right. which we'll see um, at Dice Tower Con. Uh, we have Terraforming Mars Venus next, okay. which will be Essen. And then we have other ones coming over the next several years. So, so are you going to be launching that uh, the cons, like big cons? We or? always do that, yeah. Oh, That's I'm always a good excited. way of doing it. Yeah. yeah. And I can talk to you about it. It's exactly. all good. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I don't miss the uh, Terraforming Mars questions because I know people want to know. I think I covered them all. We'll come back if I missed any. Great Western Trail expansion. Is that something that's in the works? There is no plans at the moment. Sorry. Oh, no. I Sorry. love that one, too. So I totally would have asked that question. Uh, Cottage Garden, will that be available 
It's available here. And at Dice Tower Con. It will be available at Dice Tower Con, and it will street date, I believe, August 9th. August 9th. So officially, like, in stores, but we'll have it here, we have it at Dice Tower Con. Okay. Have it on pre-order on my website really soon, too. Okay, so that's perfect. So you've got multiple ways that you can get a hold of this. So this may mean more to you than me, so apparently I may not be in the know, but are you a part of the Secret Cabal ARG? Do you know what that is? ARG? Yeah. Secret Cabal ARG? That's what it says. I sponsor the show, the Secret Cabal, of course, my buddies. <laughs> Jamie and Chris and Tony. I don't know what the ARG means. Is that something I'm supposed to know? Are you part of Secret Cabal ARG? Yeah, Arg. so I'm not 100% sure, so I thought maybe you might know what it is. No. I, I, I'm, maybe I'm in trouble for not knowing so, this. So Trevor, maybe just elaborate that question. We'll come back to it. Maybe, you not, maybe no one's supposed to know about it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so maybe it was a secret and I just totally spilled the beans. No idea. We'll come back to it, so just elaborate for us. Uh, so someone else asked, who can you tease into joining your great designer line in the future? Well, I mean, I've made no bones about some of the designers that I... Why did Tom... D oh, that was... <laughs> just played with, played with the, uh, the video there. Anyway, I'm <laughs> close, close in on Mandy, not on Steven. Much better looking. Um, so... Um, yeah, I mean, no, I, I've talked about designers that I, that I really love. Martin Wallace is obviously he's a friend right. of mine. I mean, I've been wanting to, to work with him for the longest time. So, um, I mean, that's one name that comes off the top. I'm sure there are others that, that will come up, but I can't give you another name right now until, you know, we get closer to it. But who knows? Okay. It, there could be other ones coming up. I think we've got a visitor, by the uh -oh. way. Is, is Tom? <laughs> there we go. He's lurking. <laughs> You are so jealous of me. You are so jealous. Just here to make sure things are being done. And exactly. Yeah. Supervising. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, more questions. More questions. Augmented reality game. I saw the. Uh, I saw the ARG man. man. I can't concentrate. <laughs> Aug I know he's such a jerk. Augmented reality game. Yeah. So you're, I don't know. I don't know what it is. So I know I'm not part of it right now. I guess. Okay. No. Oh. Co contest they are running. Oh, wow. So do you know? No, okay, I so don't know about it. So, this is a surprise but if, to both. But, but maybe if they ask me, I'll be in it. I'll do anything for those guys. <laughs> okay, so there you go. I hope that answers it somewhat. And uh, we had another one here. Since you own an escape room, do you plan to sell any escape rooms in the future? Escape room type games? Type games, excuse me, yes. Could be. Oh, someone got um, that. <laughs> that is definitely, definitely a possibility. <laughs> that we'll be doing a games that would, would be like an escape room. And I cannot say more because I cannot announce it yet because no spoilers. my partners are not as forthcoming with information as I am. <laughs> okay, so that's all you're getting for right now. Okay. Keep it in the back pocket yes. for everybody. Uh, okay, so someone asked this, so I'm assuming they were talking about Get the Cheese. Can we get a mouse promo in Sam's image for Get the Cheese? A mouse promo in Sam's image. Would have been great when I was doing the game. Maybe we should have had Bill, Bill Bricker, my artist Bill Bricker did all the artwork. Maybe we should have had him like put like Tom and Sam and That would be cool. Yours would be the pretty one and these guys would be the ugly ones. Of course. But um no, I, I don't think I'm gonna have a promo of Sam in, in the game, sorry. Okay, it was a good question. Oh, uh, it was a good question. And uh, okay, so you did kind of touch on this. People are asking for more elaboration on terraforming Mars. Yeah, six expansions coming out too this year alone. Again, the first one is is a, is a double sided game board. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's called sided. Hellas and Elysium, and that is supposed to street date on on July twenty eighth. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so I got to get the, the okay. times in my head. Five more minutes. Uh, July twenty eighth. We should have had it here, but it was a little delayed. We're hoping to get this thing printed really quickly. So, I mean, it, it absolutely, I can't imagine it not making Dice Tower Con. It will. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure it's in stores around that time, too. Okay, perfect. And I know I saw this, and I don't know if Stephen will know, but I'm sure he'll give you the information. People were talking about missing or broken parts in games, where they can, um, if there's something missing from a game, is there somewhere they can well, contact? Always, I mean, you always go to customer service. Every company will tell you if, if you're missing something from a sealed box, mm -hmm. or any time you have a question, just info at strongholdgames.com and pretty sure it's info at like everybody.com out there <laughs> exactly. uh, for any kind of questions about about stuff if there's something missing in a box we you know a new box we immediately you will point. get it i know because mine came super fast when i had an issue so yeah. just do that and they'll get back to you on that so i think those were the main questions they had is there anything else that you wanted to talk to us about oh wait oh no is there more <laughs> are you still moving to florida i um, absolutely. My, I am mentally in Florida already. I, I'm, I, I'm there. It's just that, you know, 
running a major hobby game publishing company and then trying to organize, you know, getting the house ready and all that. Right. My house is close, but you know, you always have little things. You got to declutter and stuff. So, yes, I'm moving to Florida, <laughs> and I'll tell you, it's Delray Beach plus or minus 15 miles. That's I feel where like I'm this going. is already happening. So yeah, like Jason Levine yeah. is like dying for me to get down there because he thinks that he's going to be in my house every day as soon as I'm down there. <laughs> is he oh. here? Is Jason here? I, I don't have not seen him. I don't no, think no, he's Jason? here. No, no, Jason. So, mate. <laughs> not here. No. Good, okay. Good. So no, I'm kidding. I love Jason. We're going to finish off on this question. Any expansions or promos for City of Spies available at Dice Tower Con? Um, I have um, uh, I have a City of Spies promo already that is available at StrongholdGames.com. If they are dying to get one, I mean, and, they won't, and they're going to be there, I can hand it to them. But they have to remind me. Normally, I wouldn't bring promos with me. So, right. um, I have one. It's available on the website or... Or email me and I'll bring it to Dice Tower Con for you. Can we sneak that one in? Broken token insert for frog riders? <laughs> no. <laughs> no there, isn't. there isn't one, so maybe they'll no, we'll come no, up with one. No. So that's okay. Maybe he'll move to Homestead. Not happening. Sorry, Not going to be in Homestead. Series game. Okay. I think we've covered the questions. Yeah. If people have more questions for you, where can they get a hold of you? Oh, um, you can obviously find us at strongholdgames.com. We're active on Twitter at, at strongholdgames. Facebook is slash strongholdgames. Uh, sign up for the mailing list. We, we send out an e email once a, once a month, once every other month these days. So just stay in touch. You always find out what's the next thing happening at Stronghold Games. And we keep our, our website up to date on the front page with the with our release schedule to the best of our ability. So before we go, yes. um, Iron Man, apparently I've ignored your question. So now would be the time to get it in before we close off. So we are trying to monitor the questions, but I didn't quite see it on the screen. So you've got about 10 seconds to type it in. You ignored it three times. You I said, know. Come on, don't troll. Alas, so, come on. Well, hey, but I'm giving him the, op or him or him the opportunity to Dan ask the question. Dan Hughes wants me to move to Huddersfield. This guy is nuts. Huddersfield, UK. Iron Man. Okay. Will the reprint of Terra? We found it. So will the reprint uh, of Terra? Oh, come better? on. Yeah, that's not, that's not, not nice. So The reprint of Terraforming Mars is the reprint of Terraforming Mars. And that's it. So, great note. You know where to get in touch with Stephen if you have more questions. And thank you so much. Thank you, Mandy. Always right. a pleasure. We'll see you guys next Bye, time. Bye, guys. Bye. Tom.